that. That's a car, it's upside down. We just went right over it. I'm gonna dive on it clear, check the window, see if there's a plate. But I mean, we're at the end of 2022 and this thing expires January of 23. This is Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today we are in Knoxville, Tennessee to search for a missing woman named Regina Robinson. So there's not a lot of details on NamUs, but I was able to find that she went to visit a friend in mid-December of 2020, and she stated that someone was threatening her. She left her friend's house the next day and sent a text to her friend, and that's the last time anybody has ever heard or seen her. She left her friend's house in her vehicle, which is a 2001 Toyota Celica, which is red in color with a license plate CJJ926, and it expires in 2020. It is a cloudy, cold, 36 degree day temperature, so uh, it's not gonna be the most fun out on the river, but you know what, this is what we do. We wanna search the river, the. So this is what we do, we wanna search the river really good. If she has ended up in this river, we're gonna see it, we're hopefully we'll be able to find her. And if not, at least this river is cleared and we can move on to the next spot, hopefully bringing some answers to the family. So let's get the boat in the water and let's start doing some sonar. We got Adam Brown with me from Adam Brown Adventures. We're going to Man, I don't know. I guess we're going to start this. This would be a perfect spot for a car to go. I think so. And uh, I told the viewers already, I'm sure you're caught up, but there's 89 people reported missing in, the, in Knoxville alone. Yeah. One in a car. Okay. And uh, so I, I mean, essentially, you know, we do what we do, see if we can find it. The car is a 2001 red Celica Toyota. We won't have a clue that that's the car until we dive on it, but I'm sure we're going to find something to dive on. Water's not in the worst shape considering. So, uh, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Start sonar before we freeze to death. <laughs> Never fails. Five seconds of putting the boat in the water, we drag it over something and the boat pops. Luckily, I brought my boat. Hopefully, it won't happen to the same, but I'll tell you what, man. As far as boats go, this is a never-ending problem with us. These inflatable boats are just garbage. Always leaking, always something falling apart. We need a nice, durable, aluminum boat. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in the future. Money don't grow on trees, you know? So we'll suffer through this. Maybe the gods will grant us a better boat someday. All right, fast forward to the boat swap. We got my boat in the water. And uh, come to find out, we couldn't get his motor running either. It doesn't make sense because it's a new motor. But over here on this side, somewhere up under here, there's now a nice little hole. And it's going flat. So now we got my boat in the water. and Hopefully it won't go flat. But, you know, we have great luck, so it probably will. But either way, now we're ready to start shooting some sonar. Fashionably late, as always. Right? Man, you look happy. I'm so happy right now. You look it. All right, I'm finally in the boat. We got, we're back out here on the water. Back out here. We haven't even been out here yet, so like we're on the water. And uh, scanning by this boat ramp, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Luckily, it's a cloudy day, so we got a really good shot of the screen. No sun glare, really. Shooting 12 feet right now, which is more than enough. And we're going right by the boat ramps, <clears throat> just right there. Usually when the cars will go off the boat ramps, they'll go down and float downstream a little bit. So, fingers crossed, a car should jump off the screen any darn minute if there's a car out here. That's the kicker. I'm not seeing anything yet. Not yet, but see the boat ramp right there and another one right there. So, out here's a big blind spot, so there could be something right there. There's the pillar. There's a big clump of stuff over there in the middle. Scan yeah, I mean, that, the car might have been, could have gone out and then floated down in the middle. So we can go on the other side of the pillars next. But I'd be really surprised if we don't see anything here. Which will obviously make me a little sad, but whatever. I drove all this way for nothing. <laughs> that there looks like a car. Nope, nope, get a little bigger. I don't know. What is that? I don't know what the heck that is. Looks interesting. Yeah, it does. It might be part of that boat dock. Yeah, maybe. 
but I mean, man, we're getting a super good image. Like the pillars, you can see the rocks on the pillars. So that's really cool. I don't know what that is, honestly. I would love to go back. That kinda could be a car, right. maybe a wagon or something like one of those Magnums. But I don't know how we pull that out. I don't think we would, but we could definitely dive it and see what it is. What's this? Something else. That, that's a car, it's upside down. We just went right over it. Did you see it? We're directly on top of a car that's upside down. Oh, I do see it, but it's like my setting part for exactly right, so it's not a great picture. Oh yeah, well that's a th that thousand percent of car right there. So I, I you know, I knew it. There's, there's no oh, way. You know it? I knew there'd be a car here. Well, not, not a you doubt in my $5. mind. Would you? <laughs> whatever. You, you, you don't. My down you don't know. <laughs> All right, so you just saw what I saw first time. We do have one car confirmed at this boat ramp. It's upside down. Maybe two cars. There's something right where that boat ramp is. Or not a boat ramp, but that's where the row team puts in. Seems like there's a something underneath it. But uh, if it is, I don't, I don't know what it is. We'll get another shot here going back over it. But uh, definitely one car for sure. So it looks like somebody's going swimming. <laughs> Are you excited about that? Are you? Man, I don't want to swim. I forgot my mask. I got a leg cramp. <laughs> I think that other thing was a car, too. Maybe. Okay, so there's the car that we just went over. It's upside down. That's even a better shot. Billion, trillion percent of car. You can see the, the wheels. See the shadow throwing. There's two wheels upside down. I see the shadow better than the car. No right, doubt right that's a car. Right there is a car. I'm willing to bet this other thing right over here is a car, too. Me, too. Well, let's see what happens. Where are you going? You're turning. Stay straight. Try not to hit the dock. Ain't no dang dock. About docks and stuff. It's cool. It's not that deep. It's like 10, 10, 8, 11 feet right here. Or that car is at. It's probably about 10 feet. So it's not that deep at all. Be a quick dive, depending on how cold you want to get. I got my thermals, so it shouldn't be that cold. Yeah, you'd be alright. So I think. So there's what we saw before. I think it is a car. It's just to the left of us. It's it's rectangular. It's either a car or a boat. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we started over there. We saw those two cars, maybe. Definitely one car over there. We've gone all the way and circled back. And I'm pretty sure there's another car sitting right here, which is a crazy spot for it. I think there's a boat ramp way up there, but let's see if we can see it again. So there's a car right there, you're saying. There's a, there's a mess right there we just that, went over. That mess? Like a car to me. It looked like a car better when we was closer. That makes it look like nothing, but the shadow looked like it was upside down because there's two wheels. Somewhere in this mess, I'm telling you there's a car. See, there's like a frame of something we just passed too. I, I kind of see that. But I mean, get close to like the trees. I mean, go just right by the trees and, I'm, and it, it's you're gonna be like, oh. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm gonna be like that? I guarantee you'll be like, there it is. Me and my big mouth not thinking. Jeremy knows everything. But wait, 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 wait. We're going directly over it. That is a thousand, yeah, billion, trillion percent of car. We just went right over it. You can see the wheels. I mean, you can see through oh, the wheels. Yeah, it's the bottom of it. Yeah. So it's just forward of that so mess. You kind of see the frame. It's a little weird, wonky on mine, but. It's a crazy spot for one, too. Unless, like, it went, but this looks like private property. It's in between houses. I think there's a road like right up here though, but I don't know. It probably went through right here. If, really if, it, if it went off right there, I mean, that's a, it could be happen. an accident. That very well could be the car we're looking for. But it's definitely, definitely two cars. Ooh, getting shallow. Ooh. All right, we got two cars now, maybe three. Watch that pokey thingy. Okay, excited? I don't no, think you're the least. Already. I don't think you're the least bit excited because of how cold it is. What's funny is the water is almost 60 degrees, so the water is warmer than, uh, like, way warmer than the air. Well, I'm excited about that. So when you actually get in the water, it's gonna feel great. All right, so we have ourselves a plan. We have two cars upside down that we know a thousand percent are cars. Now I'm pretty sure there's like more than one car over on the side that we put in at, and over here. I think there's two or three more cars in this area. They just look squirrely on the sonar. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get a game plan. We're freezing to death out here. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. We need to get some more clothes on. <laughs> but uh, definitely gonna dive some of these cars, make sure they're not our missing person. 
and then we'll uh, get a game plan together because this is we're in knoxville this is a big river big city lots of places to throw cars in this river so uh, we're gonna do lots of searching but let's get back over here if anything put a dang coat on because about to freeze to death. <laughs> All right, we made it back to the spot where we put in. There's the, the popped boat and the boat ramp. I just, we just went over this and I think I got the money shot right here. Look really close if I can get a good shot. That looks like the hood. That looks like the roof. I think this is either a van or a Suburban or like a big SUV. And uh, the butt is facing the boat ramp. So I think there's a really good chance we can uh, get this one out with the wrecker on our wrecked and recovered channel. So we're gonna focus our attention on this one for the other channel, but we're gonna dive these other vehicles to make sure, you know, uh, that it's not our missing person, you know, cause that we're out here to search for the missing person and uh, we brought the wrecker, so we might be pulling a car out too. All right, so we are sold. This thing is an SUV. It's way bigger than a minivan uh, and it's got a big full size hood. So I'm thinking this is definitely some kind of suburban Tahoe maybe, but we got it marked right here, the magnet. This is a perfect convenient spot, boat dock, everything. So. Now the next job is for uh, Adam here. He has yeah. drew the straw to dive okay. today. I'm gonna dive on it, clear, check the window, see if there's a plate. It's not the car belonging to the missing person we know about. Yeah, we know this is not the Celica, but we do know there's another car downstream more. There's another car way across. So we do still do have options, but we'll start with this one. All right, Adam's all suited up. He's getting ready to get in the water. Now, uh, a, f a diver rescue team from the Knoxville Fire Department, I guess, uh, randomly shows up and I guess they're doing some sonar training today and they informed us that this Suburban is known and they've dove on it <clears throat> so it's clear so uh, there really is gonna be no surprise for this Suburban other than yeah. we're gonna figure out what it is he's diving it today essentially what we're gonna do he's gonna assess and see if we can even pull this Suburban out the dive team said they don't care if we pull it out or not all right he's got himself out in the water uh, what he's, since there's a current, what he's going to do is put up here and then he's just going to float down there and uh, dive on it. And I'm going to clear all this stuff out here and then when he's done, I'm going to move the buoy down to the other car and he'll dive it too and see what it is. Adam's diving right here and what a darn coincidence the Knoxville's dive rescue team are all here at the same spot we are doing some training today so now we kind of got to look like we know what we're doing <laughs> they got two boats out here they're gonna do some training on sonar and stuff uh, it looks like Adam's up Let's see if he figured anything out now this car that Adam just dove on, these all these dive rescue teams know all about it. So this is, if anything, he just wanted to dive it to, I don't know, see if he could see anything. Maybe get some markings or something, who knows. But the real question is the next car that we're gonna mark. That's the, them two cars are really the, the focus of today. What you think, bro? It's very pretty good. Like up above the wheels? Facing up. Oh, it's facing this way? You sure? I just got the, the second car marked. Adam, right, I got Adam right here dragging him out there. So, it's upside down. Uh, I mean, this one, the, the, the dive rescue team does not know about. So, it could be anything. This could be our missing person. So, red Toyota Celica. There is a tag number. I can't think of it offhand, but if there's a tag, obviously bring it up. And if not, do your best to clear it, identify it find anything that we can like figure out how to identify it but I'll drag you out there and it is upside down so it's really easy to find the butt because the butt is always up sound fun yep how deep I'm 11 feet not bad at all 
Clarity, you already know what Clarity is because you dove that uh, truck, so. But it's not the Missouri River. So it's, it's always better. <laughs> It's all right. All right, are you happy? Yeah. Okay, have fun. Got a tag. The red Ford hatchback. A red Ford hatchback? Okay. Tennessee tag. Okay, this isn't expired yet. Oh. This car is still good. Okay. That's how stupid I am. I don't know what year we're in. <laughs> but I mean, we're at the end of 2022 and this thing expires January of 23. That's crazy. It must have floated. How did he get around that bourbon though? That's crazy. It's not like a fan or it's a hatchback. I don't know. So you're literally standing on it, huh? It's like the right. Yes, to the right. Well, I mean, we definitely got. We got I mean, a plate. And it's not even. That's, that's like a new wreck. Because I've never seen one we got that's not expired. I mean, yet. It's, it's right. It's so, it's so shallow. Makes me wonder. It's not expired. That definitely went in after the Suburban. And the rescue team knows about the Suburban. So this just happened. You know. The bridge is right there, but it didn't look severely damaged. I don't know. It must have floated down and the windows were up. Yeah, maybe it just floated over. I think it floated over. Probably. It's probably something a lot simpler than we're thinking. But, but I don't... I don't know. Let's go dive the other one. A, a more thorough check. I just... We got the plate, so we can definitely find out if it's oh, yeah. a missing person. And then if it is, I'm sure they'll take over. Oh yeah, definitely. But, uh, yeah, it looked reddish, red or almost purpley. But not but pink. I think, I think it's red. Not pink. Let me get up in here and we'll go across a little bit. See how he doesn't even like the pink joke anymore. Nope. Nope. All, all serious over here with Adam and the red. Okay, we made it to the other side. We was way over there. Now we're way over here. And there is the next car that we're going to dive. Already got Adam up here suited up. He's ready to jump off the boat, figure out what this thing is. Get off my boat. Good? Yeah. Now this thing is so shallow, he's probably gonna be able to stand on this car before he even goes down, honestly. I think it was like eight feet deep. I think he's standing on it right now, actually. He's standing on the car, so it's like four feet deep. <laughs> so he's got another tag. That's cool. Let's go over and see what we got. <laughs> so, yeah, expired 2013 South Carolina. 
odd place for that. So we're not in South Carolina. Nope. But what kind of, did you figure out what kind of car it was? It's a Dodge. The wheels are, yeah, the wheels are bright. Like, <laughs> alloy. <laughs> I knew it. That was another kind of tricky one. It did have a plate, surprisingly. Weird spot. I don't know, South Carolina Dodge. I couldn't tell if it's a hatchback. At first I thought it was a truck. Yeah. But it's not a truck. It's it's some sort of Dodge car or small hatchback Dodge. I'm well, sure we got the tag numbers. Well, yeah, we got the tag. So that one expired 2013. So is it scummy? Uh, yeah, it's scummy, but it's like the paint. If you rub it away, the paint's still pretty good condition. It seemed like it was like gray. I'm pretty sure gray, maybe white. Yeah, I noticed last time that one car we pulled out, I thought it was white and ended up being silver. Yeah, so I, I, underwater. I think it's silver. Yeah. But a weird spot for a car nonetheless. I really would. I'd love to know the stories behind these two. So let's drag you back over there. Two to figure out our I next mean. game plan. Okay, we just got back to the boat ramp. Uh, we dove three cars. We knew there was a sub suburban because of the uh, diver guys told us about it. We dove it anyways just for the heck of it, like a warm up dive. So we got tags off of the other two cars. This one was the Tennessee one. It's not even expired yet. It comes back to a 2014 Ford Escape Red. That makes sense because that's what it looked like, right? You yeah. said it was a hatchback, red, yeah, it was the a hatches hatchback, open. Right, yeah, yeah. Now the other one, this tag comes back to a 2020 Subaru Impreza, white in color. Now here's the thing. It says right here it expired 2013, but it was a 2020. And you said the wheel was a dot was a dodge, like yeah, a ram. Yeah. So I'm really confused about that one. Maybe the cops can explain it. You guys are saying something about recycling numbers and stuff. So I think it's possible. Maybe they did that or or that plate doesn't belong on that car. That's possible too. People steal them, commit yeah. crimes, you know? It's true. So cops are gonna let us know. We'll give them a call here in a little bit. Fire department's everywhere, so maybe they can run the numbers. I don't know, but we'll see.